Hello Aquarius! Welcome to your reading for the second half of April 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much for joining me. So guys, please, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, if I'm explaining the situation in a certain way and you're resonating with it, but it doesn't quite line up with your exact uh, situation, just piece the the layers or the information in where it goes to apply for you but please do not try to make something fit if it doesn't quite want to or doesn't quite feel like it resonates with you again if it resonates with you keep it if it does not resonate with you just let it go okay i am available for private readings um all of the readings that i offer in the description box can be applied to any situation that you have going on in your life it doesn't have to be a romantic or soulmate twin flame relationship whatnot whatever anything that you have want to get greater clarity on can be applied to any of the readings that i offer all righty so without further ado, let's get into this, shall we? All right, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Aquarius for this time period of April 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, here we go, Aquarius. What's going on with y'all? So. I mean, there's been a lot of combative energy around you guys. Uh, I've been doing, I started doing these Zodiac readings around, um, sometime around January, I think. Or maybe it was February that I started doing this part. And, you know, it's just been, there was a major, there was some sort of fight and there's a need for reconciliation. Um, so let's see what comes out for you guys in the second half of April, Yeah. Aquarius. Right. One more shuffle, Aquarius, and then we'll get into this for you. Aquarius. Okay. What have we got here for Aquarius? All right, Aquarius. Your overall energy, we're starting off with the Six of Cups in reverse. So immediately I'm picking up on um, inner child trauma issues that need to be um, seen for what they really are and really need to be healed. So right off the bat, I'm going to advise you guys to really, if you feel um, a pull towards reconciling with your inner child, healing your inner child, I would encourage you to do that, okay? That will benefit you immensely, immensely. It's, it's really, um, it's shocking sometimes to realize just how much of the problems we have in adulthood are rooted in our, uh, in traumas from our childhood. Yeah. This could also be talking about a soulmate um, relationship, but that was the first thing that I picked up on here. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the Prince or the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, but the Two of Pentacles upright. So this absolutely is speaking to um, situations that arise, uh, negative situations that arise from... Um, this from any sort of trauma in our childhood, okay? Um, you know, these things get rooted in us and we don't really see it. Um, we can't, it gets, it gets covered um, over years and years and years of our lives, layer upon layer of more trauma that is directly related to this initial trauma and we don't really see it. We don't see how combative we become because of it. We don't see how aggressive or petty we can be. Um, all because of this deeply rooted situation from our childhood or from our early life. This even could be past lives. Like, it really does go back that far, guys. Um, but the, 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 the good thing here that I'm seeing is we have the Two of Pentacles. So there is potential, if it, has, if it isn't already happening for you, there is potential for balance to be brought into this situation. And again, that comes from facing these traumas, 444 on the counter. Yes, Lord, the angels are protecting us. God is protecting us. Thank you, source. Um, but there is a, um, 
uh, there is potential to bring balance into the situation through looking at these inner child issues and working on them honestly okay being honest and for forthright and you know just doing it for yourself just seeing where it leads you even yeah okay Aquarius in your storyline we're starting off with the Hierophant in reverse and uh, the Princess of Wands in reverse so um, I'm seeing that there is some sort of self-righteousness here that is really to your detriment Aquarius either this is you or this is someone else in your um, in your circle someone surrounding you now the Hierophant I'm being guided to to say that the Hierophant can represent a Taurus um, so there could be maybe the Taurus here is being self-righteous um, and it's lead and it's causing t turmoil or um, you're acting in a, you Aquarius are acting in a way that could be you know putting this person off could be extremely self-righteous and um, combative and even petty is what I'm picking up here with the page or the princess of wands I'm picking up that there's energy here of um, needing to gain a little more maturity when it comes to what's right and what's wrong, okay? Because the Hierophant also talks about convention. It talks about dogma. Um, it talks about uh, systems and um, social structures and, you know, giving into the norm. And what I'm really, what I'm really seeing here with the Hierophant in reverse and the, the Princess of Wands in reverse is that this this image, this societal image, um, and this idea of what is right or what is wrong is really what's at the root of this issue that you've been experiencing lately, Aquarius, okay? And then, and again, that does go very, very deep because this could be something that was, I heard, severely rooted in you in um, your early life, early childhood, maybe in your teen years, something like that, in somewhere in your adolescence, and it's been, it's been an issue for you throughout your life, but you weren't really able to realize it or see it because number one, you were taught to hold this form of convention, but also the truth of the matter just got layer upon layer upon layer of life experience thrown on top of it. And so it just got buried real deep. So you have to dig deep to find it, but you can find it. There is potential to find it. You just have to go digging for it, okay? Excavation is what I'm hearing. <laughs> uh, dig out those fossils, yeah? Moving forward, we have the High Priestess and the Three of Wands in reverse. So um, I'm picking up on some secrets here. Um, there are some things that are not being, not being put forward. Um, and with the Three of Wands in reverse, I'm picking up some stubborn energy here. Like someone is just like, someone's not talking. And it's like you know the direction that you need to go into in order to rectify, heal, whatever you're dealing with, whether that be with someone else or within yourself. But the stubbornness, there's a refusal. There's a refusal here, Aquarius, whether that's you or somebody else. There's a refusal to take the steps that you know need to be taken. Um, and I'm even picking up from the High Priestess uh, that, you know, you, you may be getting some intuitive messages, some intuitive guidance in this direction, but you're still refusing with the three of wands in reverse, okay? And again, yes, it's stubbornness, and it's funny because I'm picking up stubborn energy that's that's falling right underneath the Ace of Pentacles, and y'all know how stubborn earth signs can be, how, how, how rigid the earth is. So, <laughs> speaking for myself here, I am a Taurus um, with a Virgo rising, <laughs> but... um. It's falling underneath the eighth of Ace of Pentacles here. So this stubborn um, mindset right now is what's causing the blockage of this brand new, um, uh, uh, not emotional, um, material start for this really, for this situation, relationship, or whatever that's going on in your life, Aquarius. Moving forward, we have Seven of Wands. So someone's being defensive, okay. But I also I just heard there's a there's a damn good reason for it, okay. We have the Three of Pentacles. There is a reason. There is a very good reason why whoever the Seven of Wands is represented by is being uh, stubborn or defensive. And I'm not necessarily, there are some situations in which this is you, Aquarius, 
Um, but I'm also picking up that there are some other situations in which this is the other person that you're dealing with, that you have been dealing with. There is a need to work together here with the Three of Pentacles. Um, I really feel like at, uh, on some on one side of the situation, on, on some side of the situation, there's someone that's like, all right, look, I'll put down my wand and I'll stop being so defensive if you'll just meet me halfway, if you'll work with me on this. I'm willing to sit with you and, t and discuss this with you and accept my responsibility for the situation, but I need you to do the same thing. Okay, either you're saying this, Aquarius, or someone else is saying this to you. There is a need to work together. Honestly, I want to go back to this Hierophant situation. There really is no such thing as right or wrong, period. Uh, right and wrong is subjective, okay? In spiritual truth, there is no right or wrong. There's just experience, learning, and growth, expansion, all right? So jumping back now to the Seven of Wands and the Three of Pentacles, some will, someone will lay down their defenses. Someone will take down that wall if there is a mutual understanding of working together, both parties accepting their responsibility in the situation that has transpired. And for some of you, this could have been an ongoing situation for a very, very long time. Like say in the, in the, in the, um, in the situation in which it's dealing with a family member. But at the same time, a lot of what has happened in to, to help get this situation to where it was, was an imbalance in ego. Okay. Someone was trying to be too dominant. Someone was trying to assert their, their opinion of what is right and what is wrong in disregard of the fact that the other person involved in the party in the situation may not necessarily feel the same way. Okay. So it's really not about right or wrong. It's about a meeting of the minds and finding common ground. And so what this, this combination, I'll say it again, what this combination is saying is there is a need to work together to lay down the defenses, be vulnerable a little bit, but just work together. Try to see eye to eye with each other. That's the, that's the name of the game here. Okay, moving forward for you, Aquarius, we have the Eight of Cups with the Eight of Wands. Excellent. Okay, so I really feel like someone is walking away from a negative or a, benef a, a non a unfulfilling situation and is moving forward fast towards reconciliation. That's literally what I just heard. There could be um, messages coming through. There could be a conversation coming through in which someone is leaving behind this mindset that has helped put them in this situation to begin with. That is really a positive, positive thing here. I'm feeling a lot of healing communication coming from the Eight of Wands here. And I do love the fact that we have two eights coming out at the same time. Um, to clarify each other, that to me is a strong message of abundance, okay? Uh, this situation can and will be healed, so there's nothing to worry about. There is an abundance of energy and time and even love that will help facilitate this reconciliation. So that's a very, very good thing for you, Aquarius. Moving forward, we have, ah, the chariot. Yeah, we really are moving forward, aren't we, with the Two of Cups. Hey, now... That's so cool. We're talking about reconciliation here. Full speed ahead is what I'm getting from this chariot card. All right, full speed ahead. Someone's really ready. Someone's really ready to talk, lay down the sword, lay down the defenses, and just communicate and be good again. Okay, that's, that's some beautiful energy right there. There really is nothing else to say other than full speed ahead. All right. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Moving forward, we have the Ace of Wands, inspiration with the Six of Pentacles. Somebody is understanding the need to balance out the give and take of the relationship. Um, and it's inspiring them. It's inspiring them to step forward and say, hey, let's talk about this. I have this wand. I have this brand new inspiration that I want to share with you. Can we, can we discuss this for a second? That's great. I really love seeing that. <laughs> Especially after, you know, underneath we have the three of wands here in which someone was 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 aware of what needed to happen, what, what, what was refusing to take those steps. Well, now we have the inspiration to take that step. And that inspiration has come from an understanding of the balance, of the imbalance that was going on in the relationship. Yeah, that's good. Moving forward, we have the nine of wands in reverse with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So um, I'm picking up a little bit of procrastination here. 
ever so slightly. But um, what I'm also picking up is, because what we were talking about here with the Seven of Wands and the Three of Pentacles, we were saying that someone doesn't necessarily want to be so defensive anymore, but they're not going to come out of that defensive state until there is a balance between um, a meeting of the minds, okay? And so what the Nine of Wands is saying to me here is, yeah, someone's putting down that that egoic defensive fight. Um, and there is, I, I did pick up a little bit of procrastination with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, but in relation to the Nine of Sor Nine of Wands, excuse me, the Nine of Wands in reverse, what we're saying here with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse is that someone um, understands or at least is coming to an understanding of the fruits of their labor, right? The seeds that they planted in the past and how they found themselves here. And that is actually helping influence them to put down this defense, put down this, this fight, this egoic fight is what I'm hearing. Finally, for you Aquarius, we have the Five of Cups in reverse with, ha, the lovers. So, yes. We're no longer crying over spilled milk. We've come to a realization. We've come to a balanced aspect of ourselves where we can really look at the situation objectively. Look at how, look at our involvement in the, in the, um, in the situation and rectify. I'm seeing the lovers as, um, two sides of the self coming together, putting down, uh, uh, not really mourning over the situation anymore and instead just, joining hands together in healing and becoming whole again, which would give someone the foundation or the wherewithal to then bring that sort of balance that they've now found within themselves into the situation that you found yourself in recently, Aquarius. So your last, we your last video for the beginning of the month of April was the path to reconciliation, I believe. So now we just see we see more of how that path towards reconciliation is unfolding. And it's really quite a beautiful thing. Just like the Capricorn reading that I just finished, you have a really, you do have a beautiful result um, or a outcome to some of the turmoil you've been experiencing lately, Aquarius. And I am very happy for you. Very, very happy for you because this does really look very good for you. All right. So, there it is, Aquarius. I hope that was helpful for you. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to connecting with you guys for the beginning of May coming up soon, yeah? Much love to you. Take care, and I will speak with you soon. Bye.